Reluctant Democrats joined the search for answers. The announcement came today from Washington. Five Democrats will join the House Select Committee on Benghazi. But as KUSI's John Dupree reports tonight, the hearings into the deadly attack on the U.S. consulate threatened to become a political firestorm. More than a year and a half since these images burned into the collective consciousness, the U.S. consulate in Libya burning. Four Americans, including Ambassador J. Christopher Stevens and two Navy SEALs from San Diego killed by terrorists. And today, Congress still fights with itself and the president's cabinet. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi announced today she's appointing the full allotment of five Democrats to the House Select Committee investigating Benghazi. But this was no show of support. We had hoped for a level of fairness and transparency and balance, especially considering the subject matter. We were not able to reach any agreement. Regrettably, the Republican approach does not prevent the unacceptable and the repeated abuses committed by Chairman Issa in any meaningful way. That is all the more reason for Democrats to participate in the committee, to be there to fight for a fair hearing and process. The announcement comes after weeks of meetings with Republican leadership, efforts to get committee chairman Darrell Issa removed. Democrats continue to insist the very existence of the committee is political grandstanding. Republicans continue to insist Democrats' refusal to cooperate is political stonewalling. Today, the State Department said Secretary John Kerry will not answer a subpoena to appear before the House Oversight Committee. Committee chairman Issa sent a scathing letter to Kerry writing, this disregard regard for the rule of law is even more disturbing considering your agency's role in encouraging governments throughout the world to respect the rule of law. The public is clearly very interested. The polls show the public now is focused on Benghazi and they weren't on previous hearings. Political analyst John Dadian tells KUSI congressional investigations into scandals are being frustrated as partisan fighting reaches new highs and government sinks to new lows. I hate to compare it to one of the most famous scandals in history, but Watergate took almost two years from when the first story was written to when the president finally resigned. Sometimes it moved slow, but it kept mounting and mounting until it reached a point that there was a crescendo. I think that's what you're going to see in Benghazi. 